most of our consumption is pathological, right? And most consumption is done by and for women. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I'm a university student and I'll be finishing my degree soon. I'm looking to move out, but still need to find a job. How can I live on my own with limited funds? So, you know, I, when I read this, I thought of this meme that I seen recently on Instagram. And it's a picture of like, I guess what is a living room, just like a room, right? And in the room, there's a TV, there's a game console, and there's like one of those fold up beach chairs. <laughs> and the meme at the top of the meme, it says, it's a woman who's saying, uh, most men can live like this and they think it's okay. And it made me laugh because because it's 100% right. Men can be Spartan. It's in our nature to be minimalist. I really and truly believe that. I mean, at least I recognize it in myself. And most guys, if you ask them about the shit that they have, it's because women. If I look around my house, a lot of the things I have is because I'm trying to make a nice home for my wife. A lot of the things guys buy is because women, right? They have fancy cars or they spend a little bit extra on clothes or they want to have a nice place to bring a girl back to. Um, but as a man just living to build his frame, you don't need very much at all, bro. If you have a roof over your head, being, they call it frugal, is good. Minimalist, I think, you know, is even becoming trendy. Being a minimalist. There's this guy, uh, oh man, I forget his name. Alec, Alex Becker, check him out on, on uh, YouTube, Alex Becker. He's a digital marketer. And there's, uh, he's a millionaire. He's a millionaire. It's because he loves doing what he does and does it really well. But he lives like a minimalist. I saw that he bought this apartment in like LA. Like he's looking, overlooking LA. It's like a it, magnificent apartment. It's probably a very expensive apartment. He has zero furniture. He has zero furniture. He has his chair and his computer. And, and that's it. That's what he does. I think he sleeps on a yoga mat or some shit. <laughs> but he lives like a Spartan, even though he doesn't have to, because he realizes that most consumerism is, is pathological. Most of our consumption is pathological, right? And most consumption is done by and for women. So uh, not, I'm not knocking women. A lot of people think that I, like, I talk down about women. I'm just talking real. That's all it is. If you don't have a woman, then you really, and you're not looking for women, you don't need to spend. You don't need to floss. You, need to, you don't need to put up your, your peacock feathers, right, which requires money. You can save like a Spartan. You can lead, live very minimally. You can just buy the clothes. Here's a, here's a tip about buying clothes. Buy good clothes once and keep wearing it till it wears out, right? Instead of buying a lot of trendy shit that goes out of fashion, that uh, is cheap because you bought it, you know, like these stores. I have a friend that's into fashion, or he used to be. If we go to like these cheap stores at the mall, what do they call it? It's like a, it's like a male version of Forever 21. What the fuck? Uh, I don't remember, because I don't go to the mall. But he would go and he buy these like cheap, fashionable clothes. But he's always, yeah, H&M. Thank you, Matt. I knew somebody would know. Um, he would buy these cheap, fashionable clothings. And I'm like, that's dumb because it's like disposable clothes. Don't buy disposable clothes. Buy, if you notice, old Uncle E wear the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. Right? Because it's cheap. It's cheap, but it's quality. It's cheap to buy it once when you buy quality. I find a pair, and sometimes I have to go through a few different brands to find the one that that is like perfect. And then once I buy, find a brand that's perfect, like these shorts, right? It's some weird brand. I don't know, hard, hard living, right? But they're super comfortable. Once I found these shorts, I bought like twenty pair. <laughs> bought twenty pair. That's it. Food. Learn how to cook. Learn how to cook. Don't. Uh, have to eat at restaurants all the time. Learn how to make your own food. If you're in this program, you're definitely doing intermittent fasting. You know what intermittent fasting does? Saves you money. You can live off of one meal a day. And you'll appreciate food more too. You'll appreciate everything more when you, when you live like a Spartan. 
one meal a day. So you got a roof over your head, you got clothes on your back, you got food, one meal a day. What else do you need? If you need, here's, here's, here's something you millennials might not know about. If you need books, go to the library. Mind blowing. Did you know that there's a building in your city that has free books? <laughs> I forgot about that. I used to spend a lot of time in the library in my early days. Go to a library. You know what you get at the library? Free internet. Free books, free audio books, free movies. You don't need Netflix. You go to the library, you get all the media that you need. These libraries now have like fully stocked. It was like going to Blockbuster back in the day. They got DVDs and shit. Cancel all your subscriptions. You don't need any bullshit subscriptions. Right? You could go to the library. Live like a Spartan, live like a minimalist. You could, you could get a cheap car or you know what most cities have? This is another mind blower. A lot of you guys are not gonna, you, you can, it's gonna blow your mind. Public transportation. Did you know that you could pay like $2 and a bus will take you all the way across town? A train? Of course, if you live in New York City and shit like that, you'll know about this. But if I need to go somewhere, right, say I don't have a car, all I got to do is walk out to the main street and there's a bus that comes. And I just put a few pennies in the, in the, in the, in the bus thing, in the change exchanger, I can go wherever I want, right? You don't need stuff. Now, just to come full circle again, when it comes to, you know, you're building your frame and it's okay to live hand to mouth. It's good to live that way. But at some point, we're now going back to women, right? And I know women is not an issue for you, but it has to be something that's addressed because most of you guys at some point, you're going to be interested in women. Women are nesters. You think, about a, think about a mama bird. I have these, I have, the, oh, it's a every really good example. I have these birds that live uh, up around my house. They, they build nests uh, up under the deck. Um, I have an awning over here. There's a tree over here. These birds build nests. They're um, lovebirds. They're lovebirds. That means they, did you know that lovebirds love doves? They're doves. Did you know that uh, doves are monogamous in nature? They're, ne they're animals that are monogamous. There's a couple of these. There's a couple of animals in the animal kingdom. That's why I call them lovebirds that are, they find a partner and then they stay together for life. It's the, it's the cute. They're married. These birds get married. They're, you know, they like to say, oh, we're just, we're just like animals. Well, what kind of animal are you talking about? Because these birds, they find a partner and they stay together. And it's the most fascinating thing to see them when the mama bird is going to make eggs, when she got, when she got to lay her eggs. The papa bird is out there building that nest. He's out there getting them sticks, putting them sticks up and building up that little nest. That's the same way with women today. Now, they might not understand the instinct, their instinct, and why they want a man with power and they want a man with, uh, they want a man with status, but they want a man with, re with uh, resources. It's because they need to nest. They need to create a nest so that they can lay their eggs, so they can have babies. These women, they don't really understand their purpose a lot of times, so they think they just want that stuff for their own. You know, and Plus, the culture is about YOLO. The culture is about you know, get yours and, and live, live uh, in as much pleasure and decadence as you can. So they don't realize that their tendency towards pleasure and decadence is a byproduct of their nesting instinct. So you got to think in terms of once you have to level up from there, it's about creating the type of nest environment that you could bring a mama bird into, right? And you have to think this way because that's the kind of energy you're going to put out there when you trying to attract a woman in. It's like, I'm going to give you a nest. So what? So you can start making babies, <laughs> right? Otherwise, what? Otherwise, why bother, right? Be celibate. So that's it though, man. You're just starting out, bro. You're a university student. You're going to be getting your degree. Uh, hopefully you could get a job in your degree or you, or you could you know, start on your apprenticeship, becoming a master at something because that's the key to life is becoming a master. You got to master something. 
Don't be a jack of all trades. It's cool to be jack of all trades. It's cool to be jack of all trades, but you also have to be a master of at least one, at least one, right? Become a master, raise your status, and then when the time is right, you start padding that nest so that you can open up and a mama bird could come fly in. And you'll be all right. You'll be good, man. Looking forward to seeing how things unfold for you, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.